All right, me and Zach made it to our spot. Today we are up here in the Smokies at a confirmed timber rattlesnake spot. We're not there yet, but we're getting close, and hopefully we can find something cool today. Oof. Nope. There's no way we could have known this would have been here. Something's very wrong here. Another gnome. And a fairy. And a fairy. So here in this area, me and Zach smell a very distinct smell of snake musk. We're not sure where it is or what species, but we're going to check around and see if we can find some. Okay, so we just passed a hiker up here who said that he's seen a black bear out today. I actually saw a black bear last time I was road cruising up in our copperhead spot. But... Yeah. Well, it's not the black thing we're looking for. It's pretty cool. This is awesome. We're literally over a mile away from where we saw those gnomes and stuff last. There's another freaking figurine. What is this? Right here. If it'll focus. Can you see it? In there, I just saw my first ever red cheek salamander. Guaranteed a red cheek. not scared at all. He's coming right up to you, man. Got a chonker right now. Which Zach is too blind to see. Yeah, red cheek salamander. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, I got him. So these guys are extremely high elevation salamander. Good God. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. He's right there. Okay, yep, just go under my lens cap. Hold on, not yet. Okay, lift it up on three. Three. Hey! Ain't he a there cute? There we go, one. yes sir! This is the second one we've seen today, but the first in hand. Alright, so what we actually flipped midway through when I was filming it, it dropped under a log, but that was an imitator salamander, uh, believe it or not. Um, so I, I kind of thought, well, this one looks kind of emaciated and I look at the head and the eyes are smaller so with plethodon jordani which is the true red cheek salamander they are a um, they're a species that they're very slick they don't have any apparent ridges on their body or on their heads um, their eyes are smaller no their eyes are larger I apologize um, than the imitators. So if you look at that imitator, I'm sure Lucas has got a great video of it, um, you'll see how small it is, and I can send him a picture of it, a red cheek that I've found that I can, that he can post in the video, but um, their imitators are very ridgy and bony looking compared to those, and they're a lot smaller, but that was the first imitator I've ever seen that looked like a red cheek so well that I thought, oh, it's a red cheek, okay. And that's my life for imitator. Yeah, that's the only imitator I've ever seen that looks like a red cheek, so, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Is that a red cheek or an imitator? This is a red cheek. Okay. Like, guaranteed? Guaranteed. Boom, baby. This is a young red cheek. Very young. Hold them up sideways to the camera. I think you can see how they got their name. Yeah. Just flipped the second imitator salamander of the day. I'm trying to get the get off of him. Cool find. 
Zach's trying to wrangle another red cheek salamander. Where is he? There he is. There he is. Right back under the rock, he's flipped under. Pretty cool. Yep. Look at this habitat, guys. This is insane. Oh my god. We are so high in elevation. If we got bit right now, we'd probably, if it's in the wrong spot, we wouldn't make it down the mountain. I've got enough signal to where we can make an island. But that's iffy. Yeah, that's really sketchy. Yeah. So the air is extremely warm up here. The rocks are warm. And it's cloudy out today. And this habitat is scary good to walk on. We could probably come up here, blue bird, and see them. Yeah. So, I really have to be careful because I cannot afford a bite right now. So, yeah, this is 100% a dense site for snakes. We're not to a confirmed one yet. Confirmed one is a little bit down the ridge. We'll get there in a minute. Okay, so we've been at this thing for hours now. Haven't seen a single freaking snake. So, we're going to head back down. And just go around Gatlinburg for a bit, because, hey, we got the day off. Why not have some fun? One, there's the one. Sausage. There was one that was in the rock. Oh, there. yeah, he's still down there. Two sausages. What do I want? To, what do I want? Yep, here's the red cheek salamander from like four hours ago. Yeah, this, is, this was Lucas's lifer. Nope, oh, there he went. <laughs> First herp of the day is this nice looking, is that a male? It's a male, yeah. Yeah, male eastern box turtle we got crossing the road here, not even at our spot yet. Nice. All right, I'm right, let's get him off the road and keep going. Yeah. So me and Zach finally made it to our first spot, our little Morgan County flip spot. Let's go get some. First snake of the day is this absolutely chonker of a garter snake. Definitely a, a big pregnant female. No, I'm saying pregnant and not grab it because these snakes actually give live birth. Pretty cool for these. But yeah, this is an absolute unit of a garter snake. She smells terrible. Well, yeah, she must on me. How do you think I feel? And on me. Oh my god. Okay, so we didn't get much other than that big garter snake and that box turtle here, but uh, we're going to head on to our next spot and Hopefully get something good for you guys. Made it to the next spot. We're walking. We're just walking through the field here. And I saw this very, very fresh snake poo. So I think that it was coming from back here. Because right here is a den. So what I think it did, it came out from the den for the day, started going over this way, and started heading over towards the forest to hunt. And that poo still smells, it's like still steaming. That's been in the last hour. So I'm gonna check in this area, see if I can find whatever caused it. A little bit further down on that trail that I was looking for the hog nose at, on these deer vertebrae. So I'm guessing a hunter came out here and just forgot its forgot his deer. Got a nice looking female black widow spider here. Beautiful. Zach just flipped this mud covered eastern fence lizard. Pretty cool. It's a harp. Yep. Alright. Look like a male or female? Oh, she's. Yeah, we're gonna get her off the road. Hope something else. Oh, she has a grasshopper on her back. Because conditions have changed. That's so cute. I'm gonna snag a picture of her. Hey, second box turtle. Back to cruising. Is 
Zach just found the cutest little snapping turtle ever. Oh, he's so small. Oh, you're a fierce little beast, ain't you? Guys, you gotta just love a baby snapper. Boop. Yeah, it's alive, I promise. It, he's alive. He just... Upset. Yeah. Got a nice size slimy salamander behind this rock. Pretty cool. That's a fence lizard, and it's actually just like the color of the rocks, like white. That's really cool. All right, we haven't really seen much since that little snapping turtle, so we're gonna keep on cruising. Dude, you are not smooth. Okay, so we're out here at Adair right now. You probably already guessed that if you've watched this channel for any amount of time. We're trying to get Zach to learn the Ohio Herper 17 art of jumping in after turtles. There are several snapping turtles in here. That's not our goal right now. Our goal is to work him up to snapping turtles. So right now, he's over there waiting on his chance to strike for one of these radiated sliders. So under the water in that spot, there's a snapping turtle. And then right over there, there's another one poking his beak out. Zach's gonna get his nuts bitten off. So several failed attempts later, Zach is still soaked from head to toe. And I failed to get a snapper twice. Yeah. It's not looking good, guys. No, don't move that aside. Just get a stick and poke that. There is his shell. Okay, so, story time. So while Zach was in the water trying to get that turtle, I noticed something moving off to the left side of him. So I went over and poked a little hole I saw with a stick that was moving, found this little red-eared slider. So, obviously, I was trying to get some pictures of this guy, and Zach said, hey, I'm gonna need your help. So I put this little guy down in my jacket real quick. He, he's completely fine. And I go to try and help him out in the water, as you saw he was in. So what we did, I got in. My pants are wet now, it's fine. But when I got in there, I took two steps. And in the third step, uh, I felt the hollow knock that only a massive turtle could feel when you touch it. I was almost standing on a massive snapping turtle trying to help him get another one out of there. <laughs> so, <laughs> everything just went to <laughs> after that. Yeah, and all we got out of it was a red-eared slider. But, we're still not done here because Zach still needs to catch a turtle. Yep, yeah, yep, that was not my catch. Yeah. So, we're gonna release this guy here in a second and then hopefully not have any of that horror movie go down again. Yeah, because that, that was actually kind of scary. You're telling me I was standing on it. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to let this turtle go. Yeah, let's do this. Live flip. What happened there? Ants, ants is what happened. Okay, so this fallen tree didn't used to be a part of the trail, but I guess we'll just have to work around it. Here is the cutest spider species on the planet, the jumping spider. I love him so much. Wait. 
Where'd it go? It went underwater. Oh. Well, there was a little beaver over there. It's in a little robin's nest with some eggs in it. Okay, Jacob saw some movement under this. He said it might be a mouse. Oh! Jesus! A mouse. Oh! So right there is a pretty massive queen snake, honestly. Wouldn't you say so, Jacob? Man, that's a beautiful one. Well, that's our main target, right? I would say so. Pretty cool. Now, like we said in the past, queen snakes are a special kind of snake because their diet is a very special diet. They feed exclusively on freshly malted crawfish, which is really cool. These are actually some of my favorite snakes. They may be common, but you really can't get over their charm, in my opinion. Alright, Jacob's getting a couple more pictures of this girl, and then we're gonna keep heading on.